Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Staff Gymnasium for tonight's big three divisional matchup. It's the New Bedford Whalers and the Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, this is a big game for one reason, one reason only. Brockton has a chance to clinch the big three divisional title outright. They've already got the berth into the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. The division win gets them a higher seat. Yeah, and it's going to take a, a complete effort this evening for the boxers to come out of here with a win. New Bedford always comes into Brockton's um, home court and gives them a good game. Doesn't matter what the records are. Let's just throw the records out because these two rivalries always um, live up to the hype. Record of the Brockton Boxers is worth mentioning 16 and 1. That loss coming on Super Sunday to the Newton North Tigers right here at Staff Gymnasium. We have a foul right off of the bat, or a tip off violation, they're going to call it. So Brockton will gain possession. It's the big. Missing link in that game to Newton North. The 6 7 junior, Eldon Terry, as Louis Charles takes a three and hits it. Brockton's on the board. Yeah, nice to see uh, who's that number 22? Louise Charles hit that shot. So the missing link for Brockton. Missing link for Brockton is. The junior center, Eldon Terry, who has been booted from this Brockton team. And that is a big loss and Ooh. injury to one of the New Bedford Whalers. His leg does not look. It might be his, it might be his knee. His knee is all sorts of twisted. Yeah, he's got a bandage on that left knee. Looks like the right knee that's the issue. He is in a lot of pain. Looks to be number 21, Curtis Bulger. You hate to, you hate to see that happen early on into the game. That's Colby McCoy, the senior center. He's having a lot of issues with that right leg. Yeah, Kobe McCoy is one of the leaders of this uh, New Bedford team. He's a senior. So 7-17 left in the first quarter. In injury stoppage, Kobe McCoy one of those ugly, gruesome, non-contact injuries. Yeah. And he is visibly frustrated. Unable to put any weight on that right leg. He tried it a couple times. And he's helped up. And leaning on to of the New Bedford coaches helped to the New Bedford bench thoughts and prayers to Colby McCoy. There's three letters that come to mind when you see an injury like that, A-C-L. Yeah. Especially when it's uh, away from the play. Two jump ball called. And Bedford playing with a little bit of uh, extra motivation after that. Right. Being told it might be the right ankle of McCoy. Wearing a brace on that, he might have re injured a previous. Bedford with the ball, number 15. That's Elias Perez. This one sent 
outs, but off of Brockton. Three to two, 642 left in the first quarter. Yeah, Perez took that shot, did a nice job following his shot, getting the rebound, and um, putting it out front again for the offense. Now Perez setting up the Whalers offense. Yeah. Oh, nice hesitation by number 30, Kenny Franklin. Yeah, nice job of the Whalers passing underneath, getting it to the open, moving man. Sonny Oak and Lola down low to Abu Kaba. Oh, uh, should have been a foul. There was body contact big time and no call. Now they're going to call a hold on Damani Conde. Therese Harris in for Marcus Azor. Back to Harris, thought about the three. Gives it back to Azor, now Oak and Lola. Azor, Louis Charles, back to Azor. The Bedford's defense stifling the boxers' attempts to get in the paint. Abu Kaba down low, he's off the bottom of the rim, of, and Oak and Lola in the right place at the right time. Puts yeah, it up and in. Nice job by Oak and Lola, he's really playing tough in the paint. Now Azor coming up with the steal. Going behind the back and oh my God, what a move. Anton oh, he almost put down Harris three, no good. Yeah, Azor almost broke, broke the New Bedford player's ankles. Nice defense by, by the uh, Broxes. What New Bedford did wrong right there. Uh, Connie, he should have held up because it was like one on three. What a move by Marcus Azor as Harris takes a three, and that one's good. Ooh, nice and sweet from way outside for Harris. They're gonna need that this evening. Eight to four, Brockton up with five minutes to go in the first quarter. And what has so far been a stellar first quarter between these big three divisional rivals. Well, what I noticed about New Bedford, they got some good ball handlers, some good dribblers out front. So um, Brockton's guards got their hands full. Azar doing a pretty good job so far, along with Harris. Azar called for the grab, New Bedford ball. Corner three is good for Elijah Diaz. Going to be a hit called against New Bedford. Yeah, it was a good call by the ref. There was some contact. That's going to be against Condi again, his second personal. He's replaced now by Baron Hilton. Harrison for Oak and Lola in the paint, surrounded by five Whalers, still able to get it to Azor, and now. Harris to Louis Charles, corner three, bang. Ooh, nice shot, good movement by the boxers around the horn to get it to the open man. Wasted no time taking the shot. Louis Charles with two three-pointers already as Azor off the glass, no good. Kaba on the rebound attempts, thinking one-handed slam. Three offensive boards for the boxers and stepping over the line with it is New Bedford and the Whalers are going to call their first timeout. 4.18 to go in the first. 11 to seven, Brockton on top. Miles, this has been an action-packed first four minutes. Yes, it is. After that whistle, I had to take a breath. A lot of action out there. Both teams running the transition game, trying to get a, a, a step ahead of the other team. Both teams, good dribbling team, good defensive um, on both sides. But Brockton's playing really good defense so far. Louis Charles with an immediate impact getting a start tonight in place of Eldon Terry, who again booted off the team in a huge loss talking to head coach Bob Bowen before this one tipped off. But how do you plan to fill that hole? Yeah, it, that's a big hole. Yeah, it's six, tough. Seven. Six seven, then you got uh, Luis Charles, he's only six one. Good ball player, but it's tough to um it, to um fill in for height. They said Tejon Glendardi is going to get some more minutes. So Sonny Oak and Lola, meanwhile, is going to transition from more of a point guard to a center. 
Harris, corner three, no good. And the rebound to Trey Resendi's cross. Perez spinning, he runs into a wall of boxers. Louis Charles now all the way in. He's blocked and no foul called as Louis Charles grabbing at his knee. Hopefully he's okay. He slammed the knee off of the floor. That was good defense by um, New Bedford. Nivon Reed getting ready to come into the game for the boxers. Diaz for two is good. That makes it a one possession game. Lindardi down low, he went up to the rim and was blocked viciously by Baron Hilton. Now on the other side, it's Perez. Oh, nice by Azor. Azor. Haymaker for Haymaker, the Whalers and the Boxers, Louis Charles, three, and it's good. Nice job by the Boxers, the rebound from the great defensive play by the um, New Bedford Whalers. Then Brockton makes a great play, Azor with the defense. Harris is called for the hold here. Marston to Louis Charles, three three-pointers already in this game, and he is having a huge impact with nine of the boxers, 14 points. Yep, that's what we need is somebody to step up, and Louis Charles has definitely stepped up, taking advantage of his opportunity to start in this ball game. 3.07 to go in the first, 14 to nine, Brockton on top of the New Bedford Whalers. The new look New Bedford Whalers, headed up by Coach Brian Rudolph, a legend in his playing days. Nice defense by the boxes. Brockton now going with their jumbo set. Junior Montero to Navon Reed. Darius in there as well. Reed driving baseline off the glass. Oh, Ooh, wow technique to put a lot of spin on that ball. He had to. Knew he didn't have the distance to get in, but enough spin where it hit the rim and kind of fell crawled towards in. it. Yes, ball crawled into the rim. 16 to nine, boxers up by seven. This is Resendi's cross yeah. to Perez. Perez spinning, wow. blocked by Glenn Darty. Glenn Darty. After the block, is Diaz takes a three and hits it. After that block, Darty looked at Perez and said, "Yeah, you're not getting a shot off." Yeah, see, uh, Reed should have fouled that shot. Came right to him. There's another three from the corner for Diaz. Yeah, it's a one-point ball game. 16-50 and two minutes to go in the first. Yeah, uh, New Bedford has some great shooting guards. Kaba's an offensive foul called on Abu Kaba. Yeah, he threw the elbow out there. Brian Rudolph screaming at the officials every single possession. Brockton's traveling. I don't know about all that. Yeah. This is Resendi's cross stopping from the charity stripe off the front of the rim, no good. Navon Reed with the rebound. Reed to Montero, Montero to Darius. Back to Reed. And the travel is called on the boxers. Selling the New Bedford bench to relax. relax. Take a deep breath. Resendi's cross off the inbounds pass from Perez. Diaz, another three, and wow. he's on fire. Wow. 18 to 16, New Bedford with their first lead of the night. Abu Kab all the way in. He's blocked from behind from Baron Hilton. Darius to inbound for the boxers. 
Gets it in for Glenn Darty can't handle it. And the Whalers take over. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. One-handed behind the back pass, loose on the floor. This is going to be a jump ball. And it will be a Brockton basketball. He's open, give it up. Zindy's cross is favoring his right leg. Forty-eight seconds to go. Abu Kaba with it. Off to Montero. Down low for Reed. Wide open three off the front of the rim. No good. Kaba in the right place gets the rebound and he is fouled. It's going to go against Hilton for the push. Yeah, nice job by Kaba getting the rebound. Missed the backboard to put that in. I tell you, these New Bedford guys are really impressing me with their um, ball handling skills and their shooting skills. Kaba no good on his first attempt. Brockton down by two, 18 to 16, with 37.2 left in the first quarter. And Kaba's good on his second attempt to draw the boxers within one. Elias Perez with it. Six second difference between shot clock and game clock. A long three, no good. Kaba uncontested rebound for Brockton. All the way in, Abu Kaba off the glass, no good. Thought he was gonna get fouled on the way up. And an offensive foul called against Tejan Glendardi. Yeah. Cobb did a nice job cutting through the defense, but he really didn't have a shot. He kind of just kind of alley-ooped it up there. New Bedford trying to get the quick inbounds pass to get something going with 19.3 left. Perez, shot clock is off. Perez floater no good. Tips into the awaiting arms of Glenn Darty. You can't hold on to it. Loose ball, seven seconds left. Hilton. Fouled on his way up to the yeah, rim. Man. And he'll be at the line for a couple of shots. Glenn Darty calls for the block. Oak and Lola will come in to replace him. Yeah, New Bedford playing some tough offense on the boards. They're really skying up to try to get these um, rebounds. Darty doing a good job making them, work, making them work underneath for the rebound. Hilton good on his first attempt. Whalers lead back at two points, 5.4 to go in the quarter. How many does number five have? Nine on the make. Five seconds. Ten seconds. No good on his second attempt. Kaba coming down with the rebound. Plenty of time. Darius now. One second to go. Darius three is short. The buzzer sounds. The first quarter has come to an end. 19 to 17. The Whalers on top of the boxers, Miles. We have not seen a more electric first quarter this season at Staff Gymnasium than what we just witnessed. Yeah, very electric. A lot of energy put out by both teams. Good defense on both sides. Um, Brockton's just going to really have to D up on those New Bedford guards. They really know how to handle the basketball. And again, like I said, they can both shoot from the outside, especially uh, Diaz, number one. So at the moment, it looks like it's going to be Diaz and Marcinal Louis Charles going haymaker for haymaker. Louis Charles with nine of the boxers, 17 points. Talk about his performance in that quarter. Charles, yeah, he um, he did a good job um, holding his own out there. Um, he just needs to finish off plays. Um, like I'm gonna say, just a lot of energy going on. So. Sometimes his shots are altered a little bit, but he needs to overcome that and uh, just play his game. Brockton going with Marquis Dos Santos, as well as Junior Montero, Abu Kaba, Navon Reed, and Oak and Lola. For the Whalers, it is Lamar Antone, Baron Hilton, Trey Resendi's cross, Isaiah Robertson and Elias Perez. Perez with it now. 
Perez starting and stopping off the glass. Counted in one for Elias Perez. He got tangled up with Oak and Lola. Ooh, Reyes cross, that was a nice move. By Perez, excuse me, Perez, nice move. Finish off the three-point play. 22-17. Oak and Lola with it. Back to Navon Reed. Other handing it for Junior Montero. Now over to Kaba. Kaba driving inside, trying to get it to Dos Santos. He does. Dos Santos to Reed. Off the glass and in. Ooh, nice job by Reed. Saw a chance to get in inside and took it. Perez. Oh. Ooh. Good handling yeah. skills. And an errant pass from Antone, intercepted by Kaba. He sends it out to Reed. Reed driving into four whalers. He's grabbed from behind by Antone. Louis Charles is going to come back into the game. He will replace Navon Reed. And for Oak and Lola, over to Montero. Abu Kaba to Louis Charles. Montero, three, no good. And Oak and Lola tipping the rebound to Dos Santos. He quickly. Gets it to Junior Montero. 6.45 to go in the second. Brockton down three. Louis Charles to Oak and Lola on the baseline. And he is sent it out of bounds off of New Bedford. Yeah, one of the New Bedford players got a piece of that ball. They're really playing tough defense underneath. Box is really working for their shot. Montero three, too long. Antone grabs it. Antone to Hilton. Now to Rezendi's cross. And a three for Perez, no good. Montero grabs the uncontested rebound. Dos Santos, three is no good. Louis Charles grabbing the rebound. And another one. Abu Kaba off the glass this time. He's fouled on the way up. Great effort by the boxes, just take don't seem to be able to put it off that glass. That's your best opportunity. When you're in close to make that shot, the adrenaline's going, just put it off the glass, it'll go in. And Bedford had a few too many players on the floor trying to sub out before they were... Uh, that foul is going to go against Isaiah Robertson, the senior forward. Cobb at the line for two shots, trying to draw the boxers back within a point. Good on his first attempt. Kenny Franklin back into the game. He will replace Robertson. Azor into the game, replacing Montero. One's definitely turning into a chess match. Which pieces match up with who? And who can defend the best against these dangerous point guards? Exactly. Perez with it for the Whalers. 10 on the shot clock. Perez sending it. Out to Hilton, now Resendi's cross working his way in. And he was fouled on his way in. Yeah, that's on uh, Luis Charles. Elijah well, Diaz in for Resendi's cross. Perez grabbing it just inside the half court line. Quick three for Antone off the. That should have been a backboard. whistle, shouldn't it? Interception by Elias Perez. 
Now to the corner for Anton, working his way in, gives it off to Wow, what a Robinson. block. And Franklin couldn't get up high enough, he was blocked. Franklin loses it to Abu Kaba. Five minutes to go in the second. Dos Santos off the glass. Come on, you no gotta good. finish those. You gotta finish those. Three, Diaz, no good. Azor grabbing the rebound. He's hit by Anton. No foul. Dos Santos called for the travel. And Dries Harris and Navon Reed are gonna come back into the game for Brockton. Yeah, Abu Kaba and Dos Santos will take a breather. Yeah, need to get Harris back in there to see if he can light it up, get these boxes going from the outside. He's got one from beyond the arc already. 22 to 21, Brockton down by one with four and a half minutes to go in the second period. Yeah, that was a walk. Diaz called for the travel. And he was going to attempt a long three which he, which he should have took, took the shot. He has already has a couple from beyond the line tonight. And Antone's off the glass and in off the steal. Well, you don't see that too often, Azor making that mental mistake. Ooh, nice finger roll there. Four minutes to go, 24-23. These two teams trading blows. Franklin to Diaz. Diaz called for the travel. Yeah, nice call there by the referee. This referee right here is making good calls in this first half. Now he's getting into it with Coach Rudolph. Okanola off the glass and in. Nice move by Okanola. Long three, in and out. Okanola with the rebound. Azor to Okanola. Big man takes a three. Bang. That's good. There you go. There you go, big man. 28-24, Brockton up by four. Okanola hitting that shot. It's gonna have, the big man for New Bedford is going to have to come out and cover him. Harris called to the arm bar. Darius Montero back in. Yeah, I think that's Harris's second foul. As Coach Bowden doesn't want him to get in any foul trouble. He needs him for the second half. Harris and Okinola come out. 3.12 to go in the first half. Anton at the line for a couple, uh, one-on-one -on -one bonus situation. Seven fouls against the boxers in this first half. Brockton grabbing the rebound. Azor to Navon Reed. Darius to Azor. Azor fouled by Anton. So last foul New Bedford had to give. The next one will result in a bonus situation for Brockton. Anton comes out in favor of Trey Resendi's cross. Darius in for Azor. Azor to the corner for Reed. Reed looking at Montero, gives it to Azor, now, now to Montero. Darius, 15 on the shot clock, good ball movement for Brockton. Montero driving baseline, reverse wow. layup is good. Nice move by Montero, you haven't seen that too much by him, but nice move for that guard, senior guard. Now Diaz working his way in and he puts it off the glass and in. 30 to 26, and a foul. 
I tell you, this Whaler team is giving Brockton guards a fit every time they touch the ball. Baron Hilton comes out. Or at the line, no good on his first attempt. 2.15 to go in the second quarter, 30-26, Brockton up by four. Diaz, two is good. Well, that was a freshman's mistake right there. He's gotta know, he's only got five seconds. Elijah Diaz, 11 of the Whalers, 28 points. Yeah, he's got the hot hand. Long three, Diaz, no good. Cabo grabbing the rebound, he's got Montero, and it's deflected out of play by Diaz. Izzard didn't look 100% ready for that inbounds pass. Louis Charles in for Okanlola, loses it. Yeah, I don't think Okanlola was ready for that pass. Zendis cross three, no good. Louis Charles grabbing it, contact midair, no call. Louis Charles to Kaba, short two, in and out. The Whalers come down with it. New Bedford a chance to tie the game on this possession. 124 left in the second quarter. A three is well short. Off the glass, no good. Kaba grabbing the rebound over everybody. And Azor has it. Azor off to Montero. Okan Lola trying to create some space off the glass, no good. Kaba coming down with it. He puts it off the glass and in. Nice job by the boxers, nice job by Kaba, blocking out, going up for the offensive rebound. Off the side of the backboard for Resendi's cross, Montero has it all the way in, Ooh. and it's good. Montero put on the Jets right there when he got to the top of the key and flew right past the defense. 34-28, six point lead for the boxers. Eight second difference between shot clock and game clock. Elias Perez has it for the Whalers, working his way inside. Was blocked by Oak and Lola. And the boxer's big man comes down with it. 15 seconds to go, no shot clock. Montero trying to get around. Resendis cross, loose on the floor. Scrum able to get it to Azor. Last second three is no good. The buzzer sounds and the quarter has come to an end. It's 34 to 28. Brockton on top of New Bedford. Miles, that was an exciting first half. Yeah, just let me just catch my breath for a second because it was a very exciting first half. One of the more exciting first halves I've seen all, all season. One reason being because it's the big three um, title game right here. So both teams are coming out here to play 100%, give all their effort. Miles, as you said, this game for all the marbles. Brockton wins, and they have the entire Big Three championship wrapped up. New Bedford wins. That creates an interesting situation where there'd be a share of the Big Three title, and both of these teams could theoretically make the playoffs. Brockton's already made the playoffs, but the division title is the first step. Exactly, and New Bedford's not going to go out of here without trying to take that, or at least share the title with uh, Brockton, so we, I look for a very, very exciting second half. Well, we're going to get the New Bedford coach, Brian Rudolph's thoughts on the first half. Right after this, it's 34-28 at halftime, Brockton on top. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you the second half of action right after this. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. 
Got you. Nope. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming! We're going biking! Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe, how was school today? Hi, Dad, it was great. Okay, honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. More will talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key? is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. <laughs> Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma, too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort... Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master! The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Uh, talk about real quick, how's your starting center went down, how's he doing? He sprained his, he's been out the last three games with that same sprained ankle. He went up for a block, he came down on one of our guys' foot. And it's unfortunate, I mean, we gotta move on. Next, next guy's gonna step up. Good luck in the second half. All right. Thanks to Coach Brian Rudolph of the New Bedford Whalers, who, fun fact, kudos to the Newbie Research team with coming up with this one. Brian Rudolph is undefeated in this building. As a player, as a coach, undefeated at Staff Gymnasium. It is 34-28. The boxers on top of the New Bedford Whalers. The leaders, Elijah Diaz, 11 points. Marshall and Louis Charles with 11 as well for the boxers. And this has been a very exciting game. The other absence we failed to mention for the boxers Jalen Lee, Brockton's normal starting point guard, out with a sciatic injury, having Ooh. some back issues. 
Well, let's hope he heals back in time for the playoffs. Goes Just up to trainer Jerry Connor at halftime and says, I feel like I'm 100%. And Jerry says, well, do you have a doctor's note saying you're 100% and saying that you're fully healthy? No. Well, then you're not 100%. Exactly. Well, what it is, the adrenaline gets flowing. He sees his teammates out there. He knows he can get out there, but he's best to you know, just wait till everything is right. Arsenal, Louis Charles to Okinola, spinning hook, no good. Over the back against Okinola. Colby McCoy has been ruled out for the rest of this game for the Whalers. It is officially an ankle injury. He rolled that ankle on his way down and twisted it pretty bad. He's got ice on it on the New Bedford bench. New Bedford's starting center is no, uh, unable to return. Jerry Harris, deep three from top of the key. Well, that's good news for the uh, New Bedford team that he just rolled his twisted his ankle and not the ACL or anything with his ligaments. Franklin to Anton off the glass, no good. And Kaba comes down with the loose ball. Good defense by the boxers there. Azor with it, 37-28 now. And a travel called on the boxers. Six fifty-two to go in the third. Brockton up by nine, looking to extend that lead. The message from Coach Bowen: Pour it on, foot on the gas, and do not take it off. Anton off the glass and in. Wow! Nice move by the uh, guard there, number three, Anton. Harris three, good. Wow! Jerry's Harris now with nine points on the night. Anton might have had a tip by Okinola, his shot no good. Abu Kaba, a couple bounces off the rim and in. Brockton nice. with a 12 point lead. Nice job by Abu Kaba. Saw the slight mismatch and took it right to the hole. This is Diaz giving off to number 10, Damani Condi. He's got a couple of personal fouls. Set out most of that first half. Perez, a wild shot, Okinola tipping it to Kaba. Now Azor on the other side, the finger roll is good. Timeout by the New Bedford Whalers, 44 to 30. Brockton more than doubling their lead in the first two minutes and 17 seconds of the second half. Yeah, and the reason they have increased this lead to 14 points is because of their defense. Their defense has um, given them opportunities on offense to put some more points up on the board, and they've taken full advantage of it. Um, right now, New Bedford doesn't look like the same team that started that first half. And Brockton's really put it on here in uh, the third quarter. Now where Brockton, they got a 14-point lead. They cannot mentally let down on. They need to keep, keep the pressure on and, and keep a little buffer in between them and uh, New Bedford. They don't, want New, they don't want New Bedford to crawl back into this game. Miles, the chess match, piece for piece, Louis Charles and Diaz for each of these squads has been the most valuable player. Yeah, uh, especially Diaz where uh, he's really um, shown his stuff out here. And so far, Brockton's done a good job in this second half to uh, silence him. Up to this point, we still got a lot of basketball go with 5.43 in the third quarter. So there's a, an issue with the scoreboard. New Bedford has three timeouts remaining. The scoreboard reading four, they're unable to change it. Why such a lengthy stoppage? One must wonder. 
Elijah Diaz, 16 points for the Whalers. Antone with six. Antone, I'm gonna say a tip, so not a double dribble or a travel. Antone throws up a shot, no good. Oak and Lola ripping it loose. Azor comes up with a loose ball. Azor to Louis Charles, quick three in. He's hot tonight, Miles. Yeah, nice job of Louis Charles. Once he got it, he knew he was gonna take that shot, squared up, and hit it. Big shot for the boxes there. 47 to 30, your score Brockton on top by 17. Looking to put the foot on the throat of the New Bedford Whalers. Louis Charles, nine points. So far tonight, Montero's got four, Harris and Kaba. Uh, Harris has nine, Kaba with seven. Nivon Reed with seven. Okinola, three, top of the key, no good. Loose ball, Abu Kaba with the offensive rebound. Great job by Abu Kaba on the offensive boards there. Wow, nice job by Okendola. Off the backboard and in. Okendola with seven points for the boxers, including that one very big three in the first half. I tell you, Okendola's presence in the paint has been very helpful for the boxers this evening. Three for Diaz is good. Gives him 19 on the night. And Bedford employing a full court press. Azor corner, Harris three, is good. Nice job by Azor, goes in the paint and sends it right outside to the three point corner to Harris and he hits it. 12 points for Harris now and Brockton's gonna send in 6-6 six, six. center Tejan Glenn Darty. <laughs> Off the glass in for Damani Condi. Ooh, that was a nice spin move by the Whaler. Harris another three, is good. Harris is on fire, and that's what they need right now. Condi clear lane, he takes down Oak and Lola is called for the block. Well, I'll tell you, oh, he tried. He tried the Academy Award, and uh, unfortunately he didn't get, didn't get the award. He was called for the foul. Montero's well, gonna come back in for Brockton as well. 3.15 to go in the third. Brockton up by 20. 55 to 35, but the score doesn't tell the story of this game. No. It's been a very closely competitive game. It has. It's just opened up within the last three or four minutes. Where Brockton surprisingly has taken a 20 point. Not surprisingly, it's just uh, with good defense, they have taken a 20 point lead at the moment. <laughs> Louis Charles thought he was being subbed out, he came to the Brockton bench and for that second free throw. Brockton didn't have a fifth member on the floor. Montero to Harris. Driving inside, finds a lay in his layup, no good. One of the Whalers blew a tire. Now Diaz with it. Condi loses it, picked up by Franklin in a travel is called on Condi. It's been a wild day for professional sports. 
Matt Patricia to the Lions announced yesterday. Earlier this morning, Indianapolis announced they'd hired Josh McDaniels as their coach. Breaking news as of four minutes ago, Josh McDaniels has withdrawn his name from the Colts head coaching job and he's decided to remain with the Patriots as their offensive coordinator. You know, I'm not really surprised at that. I was talking to somebody earlier this afternoon about that and I said, you know, I'd be surprised if Josh Daniel goes to the um, Colts. I think he might stay with the Patriots in his comfort zone. He's right here with a winner. He loves Coach Belichick, loves the players, loves uh, Robert Kraft and the organization. So why leave something that's really been good to you? And he tried out the, uh, the NFL coaching thing a few years back, didn't quite work out, came on back to the Patriots organization, and it looks like he's decided to stay. So I'm not really surprised, Mad Dog. Isaiah Robertson has been called for a technical foul, so Jerry's Harris knocking down a couple of free throws for that. Yeah, that's a little sign of early frustration on the part of New Bedford. Down by 21 now to the Brockton boxers. Louis Charles having easily the best game of his boxer career tonight. Over to Abu Kaba out of play off of New Bedford. Clint Darty fighting for it. Jump ball is going to be called here. Three seconds! You heard one of the coaches over here call him three seconds. I think everybody <laughs> heard him. Glenn <laughs> Darty can't put home the putback attempt. Harris tipping it, picked up by Perez. Diaz, three is good. He's now got 22 points on the night. But Diaz has 22 points on the night as Glenn Darty called for a push. Brockton's going to call a timeout. Yeah, and, and this is a good timeout right now by Coach Bowen to get his team settled. He does not want to see New Bedford make a run. So let's just talk about it for a little bit. Settle down. Get back to playing your defensive game. Make sure your passes. And uh, they they won't get any, any as far as get real close. But that's a good timeout right there by the coach for Brockton. 57-39. to 39. New Bedford trying to... Draw this one closer than the 19 points it is currently at. One forty-one to go in the third quarter. Been a very highly competitive game. I don't think anybody has had this close or as physical as a, as a game as these two teams are playing. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a highly competitive game. I just didn't know it was going to go off the Richter scale as far as competitiveness. Looks like New Bedford really doesn't want to go home a loser, but uh, Brockton's hungry to get this big three title. Brockton looking to rebound, pun intended after that loss to Newton North on Super Sunday. Diaz, another three, this one no good. Jump ball called. A blowout here at Staff Gymnasium, 57 to 40, I believe, the final score in that one. And I think that's a good call by the, by yeah, good call by the referee. He doesn't want the the tempers to flare. You give a warning, and the next time you're out of the game. I think Perez and Robertson. 
I think if I'm not mistaken, got in getting the warnings. Quick three, Perez, no good. Glenn Darty coming down with it. Yeah, he's got to watch the elbows. I know he's trying to protect himself, but you don't want to get a, you got the rebound, you want to get the ball back to New Bedford on a um, stupid foul. Glenn Darty might be called for a tech here. Yeah, I think the referee warned him. After the, well after the whistle, Darty threw down a dunk. Okanlola in for Glenn Darty. Louis Charles for three is good. Arsenal Louis Charles making his best case. Ooh. Here's a travel on Condi. Louis Charles making his best case to steal the assassin nickname from Jerese Harris. Yeah, he's doing a good job, but I tell you, Harris is doing a great job too. I mean, they both, Brockton is need both their shooting skills this evening. One point lead under a minute to go in the third quarter. Okay, Lola put back, left is good. Nice job by Montero, went right to the basket. Looked like a dunk was gonna get ready to happen, but he did a nice job going straight to the basket. I saw a lot of contact by the uh, Bedford player guarding uh, Montero. I'm surprised it wasn't a, a call because there was a lot of uh, body contact. Montero driving to the basket. Louis Charles calls for his first foul of the night. Diaz turning it over to Montero. What a move behind the back to create space. Over to Darius, finger roll no good. Kaba nice. put back, slam is good. Nice job by Kaba to keep running down with the play. He wasn't involved at the beginning, but he trailed the play and got the dunk. What a layup wow. there for Elijah Diaz. Wow, that was a super um, finger roll. Paul Bowen's hot on the Brockton bench right now. Yeah, I don't blame him. He does not want to see New Bedford get back into this ball game. Perez finger roll good. Counting and one for Elijah Elias Perez. Oaken Lola called for the block. He's I, in a bit of foul trouble. I tell you, Mad Dog, I did not see the foul. He did go in there quick, so I possibly could have missed it. Lane violation against the Whalers. Brockton takes over. Okanola fouled by Condi. That was a good job. Um, Brockton's coach, I mean, excuse me, New Bedford's coach doesn't agree with it, but it was a lot of body contact on uh, Okandola. Two fouls now on Condi. 14 seconds to go. Now 10 in the third quarter. Shot clock is off, 64 to 43. 21 point edge for Brockton. Montero getting around Trace Robinson as the buzzer sounds his layup. No good. Well, the sounds the third quarter has come to an end, 64-43. Brockton blowing this one wide open, but New Bedford is certainly doing their best to keep this one competitive, Miles. Yes, they are. So Brockton cannot take this light, this 21-point uh, lead lightly. New Bedford is trying their best to get back in it. And they've got the shooters to do it. They've got the defense to do it. But Brockton, all they have to do is keep playing their game and they should come out of here with the win, but anything can happen within this last eight minutes with these two competitive teams going at it here at the Staff Gymnasium. Well, big three divisional game. This is a big production for BCA Sports, a joint production with the Brockton High School Television Production Club. At the helm tonight, our fearless leader, award-winning director and producer, Paul Mandeville. Thanks to him, bring you all the instant replays Nick Halco, the professor. Professor Nick. Professor Nick at Brockton High. Hey, On graphics, Kayla Costello. 
Aaron Tebow's somewhere down there as well. The prolific cinematographer Aaron Tebow up top. On camera we've got Chris Chubbick, Harold Peterson, and Katia Andrade, and our chief statistician tonight, Giovanni Africo, who is the nephew of the seven-time award-winning director and producer and halftime interview specialist, Nubi Rato. Antone three in and out. Kaba coming down with rebound. And of course, you have been listening to the sultry sounds, the golden tones of big game Miles Jackson and myself, the Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. Too kind, too kind. Jose Montero with 15 seconds on the shot clock. Out to Navon Reed, he's called for the travel. The refs have tightened it up. They, well, they have to. They have to tighten it up so it won't get out of control. Elijah Diaz just stepped on the official's foot. He looks like he's in a certain amount of pain. Dos Santos replaces Darius. Montero. You talk about a steal, that was a loud steal. Reed. Nice His job by Reed. Good. Perez oh, that got travel. Looked like a travel not called out of playoff of Brockton. Even the coach believes it was a travel. Condi's gonna come back in, replacing Trey Resendi's cross. Montero comes up with another steal. He's in alone. Montero off the glass and tipped home by Glenn Darty. Nice job by Glenn Darty to hustle down there. Three for Diaz. This one's short. And committing the foul of reach on Dos Santos. Yeah, Santos did a nice job to put his body in front of the ball so the uh, New Bedford guard couldn't get to it, so the guard had to foul um, Dos Santos. Timeout called by the Whalers. 68 to 43, six and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Miles, at any point if you're New Bedford, seeing them claw their way back in, do you say, well, we're down X amount of points Maybe it's time to foot off the gas, not risk any any further injuries. Well, I, I would say any other game, but this is this game's too big. Still a lot of time left, 634. See, New Bedford has the shooters to get back in this game if Brockton was to ease up on the defense. So I don't think the coach is going to actually throw in the towel until maybe about four minutes. And if it's still a 20-point difference, then he just might ease up then. New Bedford going with their shooters, Hilton... Perez, Diaz, Condi, and Antone. Brockton with their bigger bodies. Montero, Abu Kaba, Dos Santos, Reed, Glenn Darty. Ball ping-ponging around the paint. Out of play off of New Bedford. Dos Santos nowhere to go. Finds Glenn Darty. He was blocked on the way up by Hilton. Now, what I like what Glenn Darty did right there, he went to the basket, went to the ball, got the ball, did not put it on the ground, on the, on the court, just put it right up and got fouled. That's what you gotta do as a big man. They're gonna get Condi for the push, the official call. Condi has fouled out of this game. Now they're going to discuss who that was called on. They, the refs did call it on Condi. I thought it was on Hilton. So if they if they stick to their guns here and call it on Condi, he's fouled out of this game.
Now, they do change the call, and it's a foul on Baron Hilton, number five. Condi has four. Well, I tell you, Mad Dog, this is one of the better uh, games that have been refereed by um, the refs this season that I've seen. They've really done a good job. Yeah, uh, Reese should have grabbed that ball. Diaz off the glass, no good. Five guys go up. Tejon Glendardi comes down with it. Yeah, and that's what they're going to need. Big rebounding by Glendardi. Montero to Dos Santos. Dos Santos, long two, no good. Brought down by Condi. Reed. Runs into Condi, no call. Con uh, Anton off the glass is good. Montero with it. And I'm sure what Coach Defense. Bowden wants them to do right now, maybe Defense. lose a little lose a little time off the clock. Let's go, let's be out. 69-45, Brockton up by 24. Montero coming down with the loose ball. Condi looks like he's a little bit hurt. Five fifteen to go in the fourth. This game's still at a high energy pitch. Montero and Reed. Both grabbing it midair. Montero comes down with it. Gives off to Reed. Reed starting and stopping finger roll, no good. Brought down by Condi. He's blocked by Dos Santos, who stuck his arm up and had it hit by a 50 mile an hour fastball. And now Anton slipping and sliding down. It's going to go against Dos Santos. Both of these teams now in a one and one bonus situation. Oakland Lola, Drees Harris going to come back into the game, as well as Marcus Azor. They were pleased Dos Santos, Montero, and Cava. Sixty-nine forty-five, forty uh, four fifty-one to go in the fourth quarter in this one. Brockton's home season wraps up Thursday night here at Staff Gymnasium against the Marshfield Rams. Marshfield almost beating the Boxers early on in this season. Only a one point victory for the Boxers. Senior night here that game originally supposed to be Friday, but the South Sectional Wrestling Tournament here at Staff Gymnasium Needed the extra time to set up, so the game moved to Thursday. Harris to Oak and Lola. Nice job by um, Glenn Dart in a fight underneath for the position and was fouled. Baron Hilton called for that foul. That is his third personal. Glenn Darty, an excellent free throw shooter, makes his first to earn the second. Two or two at the line, Whoa. 71 to 47. Condi to Diaz. Diaz followed by Glenn Darty. No doubt about that one. Yeah. Smart move by uh, Diaz. Saw Darty committed himself on the defensive end, was in the air, and he smartly went up for the shot, and there was body contact. 424 to go in the fourth quarter. Now Diaz good on his first attempt. It's 
to a two at the line. 71 to 49 the score now. Azar with the trying to get around Anthony does all the way in. Wow. Finger roll is good. Azar saw an opening in the paint and took it. Three for Hilton, no good. Azor comes down with it. Perez gonna come back into the game. Reed all the way in, he's fouled. It's gonna be a hit. I tell you, that was a beautiful pass by Azor. He passed it just in front of Reed for him not to lose stride and went right up and was fouled. It's on Anton, 73-49, Navon Reed at the line. I thought the, uh, with the lead that the boxes have now, I thought they might have tried to slow up a little bit, take a little time off the clock, but they're playing it still at high octane level, going right to the basket. That was the third personal for Anton. Anton working his way in, high off glass, no good. Tipped back by Robertson, Oh, no good. look at and that. One touch passing midair, and Navon Reed puts it up and in. Nice pass by Harris, blind over the left shoulder. Okanlola tipping it to Azor. Harris is in, he's blocked. Reed able to grab the loose ball and put it up and in. And with 3.10 to go, Miles, that, I think that's the line. Yeah, the, the defense, Brockton's defense has just been too tough here in the second half. They have not let up, just relentless defense. And again, like I said, when you've got great defense, it just gives you more opportunities at the offensive end to put the ball in the basket. And that's exactly what has happened this evening with the Brockton boxers. Dos Santos, Darius in, Glenn Darty, Drews Harris out. 78 to 51, your score, Perez at the line. Trying to earn three points the old fashioned way. And he does. Three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, 78 to 52. It's a 26 point edge for the boxers. Okamola to Darius. Want to read. Avon Reed, one of the surprising members of the boxers, has contributed a lot to this team's success. Okanlola. Wow, that was a power move underneath the basket by Okanlola. Anton fouled. It's going to go against Azor. 2.25 to go, double bonus situation now for the Whalers. No good on his first attempt is Anton. on his second, so it's a 27 point edge for Brockton. The crowd has started to thin out with this one safely in hand for the boxers who will move to 17 and one on the year. Now Brockton in waste the clock mode. Get out of here without any big injuries. Reed off the rim, no good. Bedford comes away with it now, two minutes to go. Dos Santos comes up with the steal. Marquis Dos Santos off the glass and in. Nice job by Santos. Off with his left hand. Anton three off the front of the rim, no good. Oak and Lola grabbing the rebound. He finds Dos Santos in stride. Starting and stopping and hesitating. Loose ball. Condi comes away with it, able to get it to Diaz. Diaz stops and pops top of the key. It's well short. Oak and Lola grabbing the rebound. Bobbing and weaving throughout the Whalers. Now Dos Santos in the corner, one and a half to go. Dos Santos finds Okinola in the paint, out to Darius, his three Bang. is good. 
Brockton's shooting from the outside has been very good this evening. Perez off the glass and in. 30 point edge for the boxers, one minute to go in the fourth quarter. Brockton's going to win the big three divisional title outright. Move to 17 and one on the year. They play Thursday night here at Staff Gymnasium, seven o'clock tip off against the Marshfield Rams. Senior night, we'll have it for you on Brockton Community Access. Twenty seconds on the shot clock. Perez is off the glass and in. As you would call it, this is garbage time. With less than thirty seconds to go in this big three matchup. Ten points for Perez. Another three for Darius, and that one's good. Yeah, boxes are pouring it on. 33 points. Perez is off the glass again. That one's good. Seven seconds left, Brockton inbounds. And Dos Santos should just hold this one, not put up a shot. He does. The buzzer sounds a big victory for the Brockton Boxers. 90 to 59, your final score. 31 point margin for the boxers. Miles, for the first 28 minutes of this one, it was very competitive. You felt like New Bedford could be as close as a minute away from tying this one up. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a nail biter all that first half and going into the third quarter, but somehow Brockton stepped up their defense and uh, Harris got really hot in that second half with his shooting which opened it up along with um, Louise Charles and just a great, great underneath uh, by the big men for the boxes, getting the rebounds, and they just took care of business tonight, Mad Dog. Miles, where did Brockton start to pull away? What did it? What did it was their defense. Their defense um, made the um, game changer right there. All of a sudden, the um, outside shooting of uh, New Bedford's wasn't happening anymore because Brockton clamped down on the outside shooting and also gave New Bedford less chances to shoot the ball because they started stealing the ball with their defense. So Brockton, now with the playoffs in sight, big three divisional title, 17 and one. You got senior night here on Thursday. How do you, it's a kind of a quick turnaround. How do you prepare for that game? Yeah, it, it's tough to prepare, but they got, they got to shake this one off. It was a nice win, but now they got to prepare a tough team, Marshfield, coming in here to staff uh, um, gymnasium. 90 to 59, your final score from Staff Gymnasium. Brockton moving to 17 and one on the year. Big three divisional title in hand. Four and oh in the big three. And that will just about do it for another game here at Staff Gymnasium for BCA Sports. 90 to 59, a 31 point victory for Brockton over their big three divisional rivals. For everyone here at BCA Sports, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.